Hello, people. I am back and it's day four. I had a really terrible night. I found this place where I could camp and it's illegal. Because sometimes uh, you can't just camp anywhere. But I found this spot where you can camp. You know, you can only plan so much from Google Maps. So even though it looked like a path where you could take the motorcycle, when I came there, it said that you cannot ride the vehicle all the way to the camping place. So I need to like carry all my gear about 800 meters, curvy little footpath, a lot, a lot of these like plants. I don't know what it's called in English, but the, uh, if you get like if you touch them, they burn you and you get like a rash. But that wasn't even the worst part. Like I'm not uh, like I'm not scared of creepy crawlers, but this was to a whole other level. I slept in slugs. Like I literally slept in a field full of slugs. Oh my god, what did he do? Jesus, it's like 70 here. You can't... Okay. Uh, not gonna ruin my mood anyways because even though I had a terrible night and uh, I'm exhausted and um, all of that, I am very excited because I actually booked a hotel night for tonight. So <laughs> I'm gonna have a hot shower and I am uh, gonna have a nice bed because that was also the thing the whole night I'm not kidding you there was this rock band playing it was just like in the middle of the night you just want to sleep you're tired but no no they have to be like a rock band playing until 5 a.m. oh I'm so this turn here and also this hotel is really close to this place where I'm going Ste Ste Stephens? Stephens Clint uh, fingers crossed I never drop the bike on this trip um, I don't think that's gonna like last um, I have dropped bikes before uh, I, I sometimes and I've been thinking that constantly since I left and even before I started planning this trip um, like will I be able to handle the bike and and everything in this trip like it's it's um, it's a huge thing to do by yourself being my size uh, so like oh wow look at that house it's so cool it has straw st uh, straw roof cool just like in the south of Sweden all the houses are so like low I don't know if anybody else thinks that too, but look at like all the windows. Oh, look at that one too. Also straw roof. So uh, yeah, but I've been questioning if I can do this myself, like if I'm capable. And you know, it's probably gonna be like a question I'm gonna have throughout this entire trip. Um, I get so annoyed because you know you have dreams and you really, really want to do something. Like why should you not do it? Like, why should your size stop you? I should, you should at least try. Then do it. Go out, uh, see what happens. And there's always like people around. Ooh, wow, look at that. Okay. Boy, that's a, I wonder what happened. That's a long line. There could be like a, a no. I missed the turn. Crap. Maybe I can. Maybe I can do this. No. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, that's what I get for thinking for having my head somewhere else. No, that's not easy for having my for being someplace. You know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Great! Now we're on the right path again. Okay, 
so good. These are my little boot covers. What do you think? <laughs> this is what I was talking about, my little plastic bags and my boots because they're still not dry from Sweden's blasting rain. Look at this! <laughs> I look like Oompa Loompa. Yes! Okay, gloves on. May the force be with you. <laughs> or bunny. <laughs> See, again, perfect to have this little lev levitation here so that I can put my stand down. Yeah, you can see it's raining a lot. Welcome to Denmark. I'm wondering if I should have a smaller nose ring, septum ring. I think mine's a little bit too big. Okay, this is fine. And no. Oh. This is what I mean. It stalls. Alrighty. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. So much rain. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I got overtaken by a little Fiat. No. <laughs> it seems like the Danish people are in a hurry. supposed to be uh, Stockholm Pride yesterday. Uh, I really wanted to go, especially now with like what happened in Oslo and I wanted to go but I will support it through my YouTube and Instagram. Hopefully I can have my own little pride celebration. Ooh, no! Ugh, Jesus, why am I such a klutz? Can I turn? I did it! Holy shit! I actually did it! Wow! I'm so proud of myself! <laughs> oh gosh! Back on track! Oh jeez! One minute! Ooh, look at that! Denmark is so cute! Look at these little houses! Okay, up here. It's the hostel. Oof. Here it is! Looks pretty nice. <sighs> I'm supposed to have my check in at 15, but maybe they will still let me have a place. Now it's 2 o'clock. Yeah, 14 exactly. So I'll go in and speak to them. Okay, see you later.
night at a hostel, dance, dan hostel in Hoyrup. Um, Hoyrup. I stayed here because it was very close to Stevens Cliff, which I'm going to today. I've checked the weather radar, and from now on, it's probably going to be just sunny. So I've actually packed away my rain gear. Hopefully, please don't rain. Wow. The scenery here is very beautiful. And they also have all these old churches and uh, buildings with straw on the roof. It's beautiful. Wow, this color is just amazing. Look at that yellow. Um, and I hope I'm sitting in a good position so everyone can see. Um, I've been actually last night I had access to Wi Fi so I could look at that, Stevens Clint. Um, so I could start looking through my footage. I wasn't able to start editing anything. Uh, oh, okay, let's see. Is it closed? No. Give a. Me half a minute to again. Really? You. Here's the famous church. What? I. How do I get in? Okay. I don't know how to get in. So I'm just probably. I'm just gonna park here. Okay. We are here. This is Hoyrup Gamla Kirke. So this is the church that fell down where the choir thing fell down. The choir part of the church. I'm gonna try and find the stairs down. And it has a little cool story about 